Well, this is Boyd XL starting his marathon as he goes in search of his next, uh, well, tries to secure a sixth world title. As you see, the 50-year-old, but my goodness me, what he hasn't done in this sport um, is not worth talking about. But Emma Olsen and Hugh Scott Barrett are his team, his trusted team. Let's first of all see how Boyd gets on and can he respond in kind to Mikkel Brookler's 53.73. That's the quickest time so far and let's see how Boyd is going to get on. Already there's a, a speed and a confidence from his team. And he's got two really powerful horses there. So even on these tight turns, when you're asking that inside horse to really collect up, but still, and relate it back to what I was saying in the dressage yesterday about the power when you collect, it must come up from behind. And they shorten their strides. They're working well. The ones on the outside having to lengthen. Oh, there's so much involved in this. And boy, there's loops in and out. He, none of these drivers have the chance to look down at their hands. They have to do it as by instinct as if by Braille. Reigns coming forwards and backwards. Now, where are we on this? Oh, he's just a little off the pace uh, in terms of uh, Mikel Brokula's time, 55.54. And now he's off and running into obstacle number two. So he's really got to keep the momentum up here because uh, he's got to get near that 47.08 as we say Mikel Brokula's overall score was um, 49.18 but it's where he's obviously got off to a flying start here Oop, just a little check there yeah but he's quick enough yep. his horses are sharp enough they are so sharp they are so experienced and he has trained them. He knows exactly what he was doing. As I was saying earlier, Boyd spends a lot of time training round what we call these mobile um, indoor type obstacles, where he's expecting the heads of his wheel horses to go oh, on the outside. And is this looking? Is this looking pretty s smart? It is 47.61, but it's not the quickest. Well, I can tell you that Boyd actually had a ball down in that second obstacle. We didn't see that, but obviously, because it was quite difficult, some of the little nuances, but we're now picking up Boyd coming into obstacle number three. The, uh, the pressure just might start to mount with those two penalty points there being added, so he's actually got a score of 47.61 now in that, which puts him in fifth spot there. So that just gives a little leeway for some of the others here. There was a time when Boyd couldn't be touched on the marathon, and that's probably the area of his game where the other guys have caught up and they've made the most ground. He's still, as we saw yesterday, is an absolute maestro in the dressage arena, and in cones, he is as cool as they come. So he knows going into the final phase, and, and probably in, certainly this season, although he's been unbeaten outdoors, he hasn't overcompeted the horses, he might not have been winning the marathons, but he's done enough in the bigger picture to keep himself absolutely there well he again is just a little bit down on uh, Mikkel Brokula's score there Boyd now coming into four what can he do just to give you an indication Mikkel Brokula's time was a very impressive 54.66 so that is the marker and Boyd just a little bit down remember Marika Harm was the only other competitor to go sub 40 so he's got a bit of breathing space but what he doesn't want to be doing is letting some of the others get a little closer ahead of the cones tomorrow. So he's really having to make some positive decisions here. Well, what he's doing, there must be no hesitation when you ask for that turn. You want it immediately, immediately. Just asking, communicating all the time. The voice, Emma will be telling him the lefts and the rights. Hugh's sitting down. Yeah, Hugh's crouching really low, lower than we've seen anybody. He's going to be a bit soggy later. And Hugh is a great supporter of driving. He and Karen are here together. And coming out now and completing that one. How? What's the time looking? It's going to be a substantially slower than Mikel Brokula's because that 59.81 is over five seconds slower. And this is number six. So uh, in number five, he scored 62.05, which is fourth quickest. It's been consistent, but it's not got the wow factor that he would 
be ex necessarily expecting compared to what Mikel Brookler is Absolutely. doing. Absolutely. And you'll notice Boyd came in from the bottom there. We've seen some of them coming, going up the slope and dropping down through A. He'd obviously made the decision. It might have been one of the last minute changes they as a team made. And he's coming out. We watched other drivers twiddling down through the middle with mixed success but he has probably walked more obstacles than just about anybody instinctively. Yes, Hughes crouching right down there. He makes sure he keeps himself physically really fit for this job. He's so committed and he, like Boyd, is a wonderful strategist. You'll often see Hugh at an event just, as we say, casing the joint, watching where everything is and that lovely line down the middle. Once you've gone through F, you would have loved to have done it before now, but that's what that obstacle gives you, that great exit. Here we go, Boyd XL completing his marathon into obstacle number eight. There's so many different elements to go around. It does look like quite a pickle when you see it on paper or from some of the drone shots up above. There's a lot of gates and so many times you think, I want to go straight through there and there's something just in front of you. Very rarely can you get a nice straight line in. And because we're saying there are 29 technical elements in here that, that are considered to be mobile, which means they haven't been put so deeply into the ground, 29 balls, that's an awful lot of two penalty points that can be picked up. So you want to be as accurate as possible. If anyone can do it, this super experience man can but just giving away a few seconds here and there to Michael and then Chester who is out in this gladiatorial um, contest that we've got 54.47 is the quickest time in this one and again just a little off the pace just not a, much, but not, not much. much only a second but that really has been the mark he's now puts the brakes on and sort of lets out the uh, tension and the uh, can just reflect on that and there you can he's still in the lead because he has a score of 116.01 his penalty total now is 150.14 Mikel Brokler is on a score of 156.18 but in terms of the marathon you look at the difference Boyd picked up 116 penalty points 0 0.01 and exactly 107 is Mikel Brokler